Hello! Today, I am going to talk about pay toilets and why we don't have them here in America, the USA. So, in the early 1900s, back over a hundred years ago, um, there were a lot of railroads, lots of railroads all through the country. And these railroads were the only places, sometimes the only place with plumbing, um, modern plumbing and toilets. So railroad companies decided to put locks and, and lock their toilets so that the public wouldn't use all of their toilets instead of their own. Um, so they locked the toilets and uh, later um, in the 1970s as time goes on, um, more airports open up, bus stations, and highway rest stops. All of these open, there's more development. But still, uh, people are paying for toilets. And so, there were four, well, two brothers um, in high school, young, young boys, who decided we don't like uh, pay toilets. We don't like them. And so, they told their two other friends, and they founded, or started, uh, created, right, began, <laughs> Um, the Committee to End Pay Toilets in America. Um, they did it just for fun. Ha ha, just to hang out. Ha ha, talk, fun. <laughs> um, yeah, not very serious. Um, and they had their first meeting in June of 1970. Um, the meeting of this committee started uh, 15 minutes late because there were no adults, zero adults in the meeting and uh, the people in the library where the meeting was held were worried. Where are the adults? <laughs> and so it started late uh, for that reason. I think that's funny. Um, and so 29 people were there and lifetime membership, which means being a part of this committee forever, um, membership to be a member for your whole life 25 cents one quarter to uh, be a member they said they believed these four kids that it goes against their rights um, to have pay toilets it's wrong they thought it's wrong. But the businessmen and the, the leaders of the pay toilet companies said that it was their, it was their right to do whatever they want with their toilets, um, which is interesting. There was also 
a an argument, um, a feminist argument against the pay toilets, which was that the bathroom itself, the building was not locked. It was open. Um, but the stalls, these stalls were locked. Um, urinals were not locked. And so men could uh, use the bathroom without paying, but women couldn't at all. At the same time that these kids were doing this, people in government also, uh, some people in government also did not like pay toilets. Um, so in January 11th of 1973, the four members held a meeting uh, in a Chicago hotel in the city of Chicago, in Illinois. And they spoke to reporters with cameras about their cause um, and what they believed. And one month later, the mayor of Chicago removes, takes out um, or bans the uh, pay toilets in airports. And that is a big deal, right? Um, these four young people made a big impact. By 1976, the members were adults and were, were busy working, studying. They did not have time for the committee, but they felt that there were, there were so many bills, um, laws, being created against pay toilets that they basically gave out a letter that said, we have won. We have won and the end of our committee, basically our goal, is to be eliminated. Um, because if there are no pay toilets, we don't need a committee against them. So, essentially, they stopped in 1976, and by 1980, there were almost zero pay toilets. Almost none. So, really interesting. Uh, thank you for watching. Well, you are doing yourself a favor by watching, and have a good day. <clears throat> okay. I should also record an intro.